How you doing? I'm Bobby D, New York born, but I'm coming to you from Fredericksburg, Virginia. I'm here to talk a little fancy football. First off, we're going to start off with uh, some top performers of the week. QBs first. We got Matt Stafford. Fucking guy was great this week. Playing a defense like the Cardinals, and he still puts up numbers 292 with four touchdowns. It's fucking great. A couple honorable mentions there. We got Alex Smith. He had a good game, especially against the Patriots. Got to give it up. And Sam Bradford. Monday night coming through like he did. Pretty solid. But he ain't no Matt Stafford. And we got some running backs. Kareem Hunt, monster game. I mean, who saw that coming like that? Not me. I'll be honest. Not me. But 147 yards and a touchdown, adding five receptions, 98 yards, and two more TDs, fucking kill it. Tariq Cohen, Mike Gillisley, great. They did great. And they ain't as good. Wide receivers, I mean, we all know Antonio Brown. He's a monster. He did his thing. That's what he does. 11 catches for 182 yards. Tore that game up. Tyreek Hill, Kenny Galladay, both good games. Again, ain't no Antonio Brown. Tight ends, we had a few good ones. Uh, Jesse James had a good game, two touchdowns. We had Austin Hooper, one long touchdown, solid day. But Zach Ertz, eight catches, 93 yards. In a division game, that's my man of the week. We got some defenses that had some good games too. We got the Rams. We got the Jaguars and the Ravens. All big games. You got to give it up to the defenses, too. Now, unfortunately, we get to the segment that uh, I'm not too thrilled about. We got the fucking the bed shitters of the week. Unfortunately, we're starting off with QBs. That means we got to start and finish with Eli Manning. That was a shit fucking show if I ever saw one. That was fucking horrible. Even after the bad year he had last year, I still wasn't prepared for this shit. Some other bad games. Andy Dalton. I don't know how the hell you score negative points in a whole fucking game. That's, that's beyond me. I've only seen it done once. That was Philip Rivers. But somehow he found a way. Uh, Russell Wilson, Carson Palmer, also bad days, but nothing compared to those first two I mentioned. Some running backs. I know we had uh, a Steeler up there for uh, receiver of the week. Running backs, Le'Veon Bell. He shit the bed fucking bad. 32 yards with three catches for 15 yards. The fuck was that? First round draft pick and he's putting up numbers like that. That's fucking ridiculous. We had some other bad ones. Unfortunately, one of my boys, Paul Perkins, had a shit day too. And uh, you got guys like Rob Kelly and DeMarco Murray. They, 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 were, they were fucking shit. They were. Uh, wide receivers. Kelvin Benjamin, you're a number one receiver. How the hell are you catching one ball for 25 yards? How the hell does that happen? That shouldn't even fucking happen. Brandon Marshall, unfortunately, I like the guy. I think he's having a good year, but he shit the bed too. I got to say it. Uh, Des Bryant, Jameson Crowder, you're right there too. You ain't far behind those first couple guys. Tight ends. Speaking of one catches, uh, one catch, we got Tyler Eifert. One catch for four fucking yards. He's supposed to be a good tight end. That's a shit show if I ever saw one. And he's got a lot of company, to be honest, too, because half the league fucking sucked at tight end this week. But we got Greg Olson, Jimmy Graham, and Rob Gronkowski, the other names I'm going to mention in there. There were quite a few others, though. Defenses, the Texans were bad. I mean, that was a big game. They were supposed to go in there. They were supposed to go in there with a the fuck out of here. You're fucking fired. That's it. I had enough of your shit. All right, sorry. My production team is fucking pissing me off tonight. Uh, fucking distraction. But anyway, like I was saying, the Texans, they're supposed to be a big game, all, all charged up, and they're going to come out firing. Zero points. Put up a day like that. That was bad. That was just bad. That, that they shit the bed. Patriots, Saints, both negative points, in, depending on your scoring. Fucking horrible. Now, a couple uh, disclaimers on those uh, people we've talked about so far. We did not include players that got injured and didn't give a full game because they didn't have the chance to, to come back. We had guys like uh, David Johnson, Allen Robinson, are a couple examples in that category. We're also not including the second game Monday night because we're recording this as the game's on. It's currently 14-7, and this game's fucking sucked so far. But uh, now we're on to a couple of awards. Uh, we're gonna Every week, we're going to award two awards. Uh, one's going to be the ass of the week. Now, the ass of the week... That's a guy that's a, an average scorer, typically. Everybody expects he's going to have a decent day, but nothing crazy. Uh, and then he fucking goes full-on beast mode and just goes ballistic. Uh, the ass of the week this week is going to be Kareem Hunt. Because if somebody started him against you, you're pissed off, and he's an ass. If you started him, he fucking carries your team. And if you lost starting him, then you really fucking suck. I mean, I got to say, you, you have to suck to get that kind of points out of him and lose. Now, that brings me to... The segment that I've been looking forward to the most, which is my rant of the week. And uh, my rant of the week is about the officials. The, the, the NFL referees this week, 
this was the fucking worst officiating I, I've seen in my life. And I've watched a lot of football. I've watched a lot of all kinds of sports. Uh, it's never been this bad. Uh, I'm going to focus in on the game, the Packers and the Seahawks. Uh, I don't have a clip to show you right now attached to this video, uh, but uh, look it up. Uh, it was bad. Uh, a Seahawks player got ejected for a punch that never got thrown. It was a phantom punch. Uh, I watched the video a couple times. I, I couldn't see anything that even resembled something close to a punch. Uh, the referee apparently fucking saw something. I don't know what the fuck he saw. And then uh, at the same time, they called back a touchdown on a legal block in the back because the guy brushed against Aaron Rodgers. Uh, we all know Rodgers is a fucking cunt that can't fucking handle any kind of contact, but that was a little fucking ridiculous to take a touchdown back over that. Again, look at the video. You can judge for yourself, but I think it was complete bullshit. And uh, Roger, please, fucking do something about this. Can we get some decent refs? I mean, the replacement refs from a few years ago weren't even this fucking bad. Seriously. Now, on to a little bit of a uh, couple segments that are going to be coming up in the future to uh, prepare you. Uh, in future weeks, we're going to have a segment called What Do You Want from Robbie D? That's going to be a section where you can uh, post questions to my Twitter account, and uh, we will go ahead and answer those uh, in the following week. Uh, my media team is working on pulling up my Twitter account as we speak. Uh, that's going to be at Robbie DFF. So like I said, post some questions on there. I'll pick out a couple of them. and I'm going to answer those questions in the following weeks. Uh, future weeks, we're also going to include a uh, little uh, play and bench them section to kind of prep you for the week to come. And we're going to talk about some different players that you should target on the waiver wire. Uh, this is our kind of pilot episode, so we don't really have all that set in place at the moment. But uh, like I said, that's all coming uh, in the future. Uh, do me a favor. Please uh, like this video. Uh, I need to try to get some subscribers too, so I definitely appreciate that. And uh, that's about all we fucking got this week. Come on back next week.